the book of Deuteronomy. Hey, minions. So, John Smith took a bit of a break from Deuteronomy because, quite frankly, it's kind of boring, and some of it seems like repeat from other parts of the Pentateuch. Hey, Looney Tunes, where did we leave off? Chapter 16 or something? Your Yahweh told me to tell you guys to observe the month of Aviv and celebrate the Passover. You need to sacrifice an animal and not eat bread with yeast. You need to remember that Lord Yahweh brought you out of Egypt. Yup, that's the boring content repeated over and over that I was talking about. Next, Lord Yahweh wants you to celebrate the Festival of Weeks. Let me guess. Slaughter blood, sprinkle, sprinkle, eat bread without yeast because G-Man doesn't like the yeast that he created. Can we move this along, please? Remember that you were all slaves in Egypt and Lord Yahweh helped you escape from there. Where he led you around the desert for upteen bajillion years until you had an entirely new generation to tell these endlessly repeated stories to. Next is the Festival of Tabernacles. Lord Yahweh will bless your harvest. You need to celebrate the Festival of Tabernacles with your sons and daughters and widows and orphans and Levites. Oh, and you icky foreigners, too. G-Man sure loves his parties. At least he invites the widows and orphans and icky foreigners. Next, Lord Yahweh told me to tell you to appoint some judges. Those judges need to be wise and not take bribes and not twist people's words. Lord Yahweh said to appoint judges in this land that Lord Yahweh is giving you. Where people are already living, but who cares about them, remember, because they don't worship the G-Man, so genocide for everyone. You guys get genocide, you guys over there get genocide, everybody gets genocide. Do not worship that icky gross Asherah or erect Asherah poles or sacred stones. Lord Yahweh hates those things. Sorry, Ketsy and Loki, no idols for you. Do not sacrifice any aminos with defects. Lord Yahweh doesn't like the defect aminos that he created. Makes perfect sense to me. If there are peoples who do detestable things and you guys gather evidence that they are doing detestable things, evidence being the testimony of two or three witnesses, then you need to stone them with stones until they're dead. Whoa, imagine that, minions. G-Man asking for evidence. Shut up, Satan. If the cases are too hard for the judges, you need to take those cases to the Levites. Anyone who shows contempt for the judges or the Levites, you need to kill those people so the rest of the people will fall in line and listen to you. Stupid peoples. That's right, G-Man doesn't like dissension in the ranks, does he? One of these days, you peoples might want a king to rule over you. You need to have a king that Lord Yahweh chooses for you. Your king cannot be an icky gross foreigner, and the king cannot get you guys horses, and cannot take you back to Egypt, because Lord Yahweh took you out of Egypt, remember? And this king needs to keep a scroll copy of all these laws with him at all times. So can I sing Only a Boy Named David now? It's my favorite song, after all. Only a boy named David. Shut up, Satan. Nobody wants to hear you sing. Next, Lord Yahweh told me to tell you about the Levites. Right, because they'd rather hear about the Levites for the upteenth bajillionth time than hearing their Lord Master sing a song. Right, minions? Stop interrupting, Satan. This is divinely inspired word of Lord Yahweh. It's important for me to tell the people all of Lord Yahweh's sacred, unchangeable words. I'll sum it up for you. The Levites, they got special jobs. They get part of the sacrifice of the meat that you're given. They don't get land. And you stupid Israelite peoples need to listen to them. The end. Move on. Stupid Satan. Lord Yahweh told me to tell you that he hates sorcery and divinations. Huh, that's kind of strange. Didn't Joseph use like a divination cup back in Genesis? Shut up, Satan. That was the old Pentateuch. This is the new Pentateuch. Anyone who casts spells or consults with spirits of the dead peoples or sacrifices their own sons or daughters, they are detestable to Lord Yahweh. Unless G-Man tells you to sacrifice your son, that's totally okay. 
Like in the old Pentateuch when he told that Abraham guy, because, you know, G-Man's going to send you an angel at the last second to stop you. Isn't that right, Gabe? Don't get me involved in this one. I'm staying out of it. This is between you and Moses. Shut up, you guys. I'm trying to read Deuteronomy. Oh, where was I? So, Lord Yahweh will someday raise up a prophet for you peoples. You must listen to this prophet. If you don't listen to this prophet, the Lord Yahweh will kill you himself. So, Looney Tunes, tell us more about this future prophet. Like, how will we know that he's the right one? How will we be able to tell? How will we know if a prophet is a real prophet, you ask, and not totally a fake prophet? There's an easy test. If the prophet makes a prediction, and that prediction comes true, then they're a real prophet. If they make a prediction, and that prediction doesn't come true, then they're not a real prophet. Easy peasy. Also, if they say they're a prophet, and they try to tell you about other gods, then you need to put them to death. That sounds simple enough to me, so I'm going to make a prediction. I'm going to predict the sun will rise tomorrow. Or, more accurately, the Earth will spin on its axis and half the Earth will be facing toward the sun at some point. So, am I now a prophet? Did my prophecy come true? Because, like, I don't want to get stoned to death. Shut up, Satan. <laughs>